That's it. it. Danny Glover, on the other hand, towards the end of the movie, um, he he ta- get, loads up his guns when he's going to get the Predator. He blows the door open to the meat slaughterhouse. He comes in there and you know he's like, "Here I am, come get me" or something along that lines. The predator goes after him. They have a little shootout. The uh, agent, uh, Danny Glover, gets the predator cornered. Predator has to shoot his rocket and. You know, Danny Glover, of course, has, like, he protected himself, so, in case that happened, and so, you know, he survives and continues his fight, and the Predator's coming after him, and he does have to use his wit, because Agent Brody, uh, I'll say, he, just like in all the other films, they always have to use their wit, and he uses his wit, and he runs through the meat, and he, um... Gets to the end, and he pulls out his gun. The Predator comes through, and he blasts the crap out of the Predator. Now, um, you know, I have no problem with using your wit. But, Adrian Brody did nothing else. He used his wit a little bit, even though it's kind of stupid uh, about the mud and the fire. It's kind of dumb. Why didn't he use that mud earlier when they first realized it? And they could have killed the Predator then. But anyways, you know, Danny Glover, after that, the Predator cha- uh, chases Danny Glover up to the roof. Or he chases the Predator up to the roof. And he goes, and the Predator's standing on the edge, and he runs full force knocks this Predator off. The Predator ends up making his way into the other building where he heals, you know, patching himself up. And Danny Glover ends up having to chase him down, all the way down to his spaceship under the ground. And he has a fight there where the he, he wanders into the ship not knowing where the hell he's going. The Predator comes out of nowhere and he's using his blades, his gauntlet, and he's slashing at Danny Glover. Danny Glover's got the disc and he's trying to defend himself. He gets knocked down a couple of times. He gets the neck gun on him. He cuts it off. You know, he fights more with this predator. And again, has to use his wit to kind of kill the predator. Pretend like he's defeated. And when the predator is about to kill him, he kills the predator. Rams the blade into the Predator's chest. Now, again, Adrian Booty kind of uses wit a little bit, but Danny Glover went all out against this Predator. Uh, Adrian Booty didn't once just have a straight up fight with the Predator. He did not once have a straight up fight with the Predator. He hit him through the fire, and at the end, after the girl shot him, then he hacked the Predator up. And I know some people say Arnold didn't have much of a fight. He did get, Arnold did get the crap beaten out of him the whole time. But Arnold, Arnold tried. He punched the Predator, he hit him with the log, and he took a lot of hits. Adrian Brody got hit like, oh, he got thrown. Oh, and like maybe hit a couple of times. That's it. You know, Arnold took a lot more hits. Danny Glover took a lot more. Danny Glover delivered ten times more than Adrian Brody did. So, Danny Glover's got more of a drive. He's got more... So you feel it. These guys losing his friends to this creature, you know. And he's trying to stop this guy. He's trying to... Going through all this opposition, like the feds and Gary Busey, he's going after this predator. He's a great. He's a guy you can look up to that'll take care of you and be your friend. And so you, you can look up to him. So he's a hero and he's a badass. Adrian Brody, I did not look up to him. Oh, he's gonna save the day. I'm really rooting for this guy. 
Not really. Maybe I'll root for him because he's the hero, but that's it. Oh, yeah, hero. So I'll root for the hero, yeah. So in my opinion, Danny Glover can ask wife Adrian Bodie any day, month, day of the week, year, with one hand tied behind his back. Now, if you, again, you like Predators more, that's fine. I don't understand it. But if it, but if anyone says that Adrian Brody can be a badass and Danny Glover can't, I call bullshit. Fuck you. I'm sorry. I know I kind of just said anyone has their own opinion, but I don't. For that, I call bullshit. Adrian Brody cannot be a better badass than Danny Glover. Fuck yourself. So once again. I call bullshit. Danny Glover is ten times better. And so with that, I'm going to move on to another thing. Um, the Predator himself. This Predator is much more of a badass than any of the other three Predators combined. Now, in Predators, you have three Predators. You have the Berserker Predator. You have the Tracker Predator. You have the Falconer Predator. And as a note, the Berserker is also known as the Super Black Predator. But you have these three Predators. And the Super Black Predator is supposed to be... He killed, the young, he killed a Xenomorph at the youngest age. And so he's supposed to be a big badass. Okay. So, my, and, so among these three Predators, you get how many kills? Six? Somewhere around there? Um, let's see. You have... Danny Trail gets killed by one of them. Um, the black guy gets killed by one by I think maybe a trap. At first it looked like a spear, but it actually looks like multiple spikes. Like they do look like spears, but maybe a trap. So somebody killed Danny Trejo. Um, or somebody killed the black guy. Um, Lawrence Fishburne gets killed by the uh, tracker. in a crappy CGI explosion which just a brief something real brief 20th Century Fox I don't see why you could've couldn't have forked over the extra bucks to make it a practical effect if Dolph Lundgren can do it in a low budget action film such as Direct Contact you could do it if you want to see what a good explosion looks like look up Direct Contact on probably look it up on YouTube you probably you could probably find it As he track a predator kills Lawrence Fishburne, and then he kills the Russian guy, and the Russian guy, well, he stabs the Russian guy, lifts him up, and then the Russian guy blows himself up. Which, I wouldn't have had much of a problem with. I mean, I kind of like it, because I hadn't really seen that before in a Predator movie, but these Predators are pussies. You have the Falconer, who has a fight with the Yakuza guy, and they kill each other. You have the Super Black Predator kills the Rapist. And then he, uh, kills the other predator. That's it. Um, now his two kills look kind of cool. I mean, 
the rapist guy got his spine ripped out, and the the black the uh, classic predator got his head cut off. Okay, but he only killed two. Maybe he killed the other two guys. And then no, oh, they're only a limited group of people. But they should have thrown more people in there. It's like these predators get their asses handed to them. And I know some people are, are now thinking, well, what about Predator 2? He got his ass handed to him. Danny Glover, you know, loaded him up with bullets. Okay, I can't deny that. This predator got shot to hell. He and he got his arm cut off. So he got the crap kicked out of him. He got the crap kicked out of him and kept on going. Now let's think about in predators, when did anyone get the crap kicked out of him? They didn't last long enough to get the crap kicked out of him. They got a few hits and died. Now the Tracker Predator got blown up in a crappy looking fire effect. It seriously looks like somebody drew it on there. It seriously does. It looks crappy. Um, the, the Falconer Predator gets cut two times. Let's count it two times. The Berserker, he does get hacked up. But he he's done after one shot. He gets shot, and then Agent Brody hits him, and then he gets hit him again and again and again. And he just, you know, and then he gets his head cut off. This predator gets loaded up with bullets. Danny Glover shoots him like ten times, and then of course he, um, then he kills. Then shortly after he ki he tries to get away back to his spaceship, but on the way he kills Gary Busey. He tries to fight Danny Glover a little bit more. He gets his arm cut off. He p does patch himself up, but. You know, I can excuse him trying to get to a spaceship because he took a lot of hits. Maybe he wants to go get a little more medical attention. You know, because a severed arm, I'm willing to bet that kind of hurts. But nevertheless, he got serious wounds and he was kicking. 